Well, thank you for joining me. It's so wonderful to sit with each and every one of you. It really helps my practice to sit together like this a lot. So how often do you practice? Every day? Two minutes? Mm -hmm. So our, our sitting practice is it's just, it's an exercise. It helps us to get to know ourselves and to um, put down what we don't need by seeing it for what it is. It's moment to moment, every moment. There's a lyric in some song, I can't remember who did it, whether it was John Prine or Joni Mitchell or one of those people, and the line was something about looking at your relationship with fresh eyes. Looking at your life with fresh eyes. I really liked that. It's the same as beginner's mind. I don't know. Fresh eyes. Each moment. So how do you transform what appears to be your suffering, your difficulties, your struggles? How do you transform that kind of experience of life into an adventure? By seeing everything that's happening with fresh eyes. One of the ways we talk about this practice is it's, it's non-dual in nature. Our original nature is non-dual. It's not dualistic. So we have all this habit energy that we rely on. We kept coming back to looking at our lives a certain way. When we do that, we're living in the past. Sure. We're not, I'm really approaching life as an adventure. Because every moment is a unique and new moment. And if I find myself living out my past, or you could say karma, history, the way I view things, I try to recognize it. And that's what our practice does for us sitting here together in a group. We keep coming back to the same old monkey mind stuff that we keep going over and over again. And what do we do? We learn that that's not who we are. So yeah, practice continues. It's not just sitting on the cushion. If you get up from the cushion and you're still living in the past, what good was sitting on the cushion? Take it with you. The true Dharma eye is your own mind. It's not somewhere else. One of the things we tend to do in our consumer society is to always look for something new and fresh to replace what we don't want to have anymore or what isn't working for us. Or instead of transforming what isn't working into something that is working. Every step we take is another opportunity. There's something around the bend. What is it? Just ask the question, what is this? Instead of, oh. <laughs> it's the same old, same old. I don't understand being bored. How can you be bored with life? It's never the same. What's there to be bored about? You see? And when you're bored, you're deluding yourself. Lots of work to do, right? <laughs> it's never ending. Yeah. But that's okay. Because our original nature, again, is pure 
and undefiled, we already are Buddhas. It's a good reminder. That's the adventure. And then it's not just a selfish adventure, you see, because once we open up to our original nature, it's the same original nature that we all share. When we sit here together, the energy of the group, it's one mind. We're all in it together. So compassion enters in naturally. You know, it's just, you can't help but be compassionate when you recognize we're not different. So I, when I sit here and I talk like this, it's really, I'm reminding myself, not just you, right? I'm reminding myself of what, what's going on here. What is this? Why, why am I doing this? Over and over again. So that's all I have to say today. So, all right. Wonderful. Thanks for sitting with me and see you whenever I see you.